Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy BT. I'm here with Rancis Bartholomew. He's got a fight coming up on Friday on Spike TV. How you doing, Rancis? I, I, I feel good. I feel ready. Uh, I, I'm on, on way. I, I, I'm ready. I'm waiting for the for the Friday 18. For, for the Friday 18. Right, that's great. Um, for those that don't really know who you are, uh, describe to them who Rancis Bartholomew is as as a boxer, as a fighter. Describe to them your style. Como como eh, eh, como tú está como es el estilo de él como tú te vas a ajustar el estilo de él. Bueno, yo soy un peleado que me que me adapto a cualquier estilo eh, por lo que por, por las condiciones físicas de mi de mi contrario. Eh, esperamos que él venga a presionar en todo momento y, y nada y yo voy a tratar de, de no dejarlo eh, que me presionen y, y tratar de buscar y contragolpearlo en todo momento en la pelea he said he 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 ready he ready he ready for him but he can he can just uh, any style and then I know the, the, the opponent is coming to come forward I know he come with great condition but I'm ready for anything he, he bring here that's great. Um, this is your third fight at junior welterweight. How is uh, your body settling into the weight class? How's your body feeling with, with your third fight at 140 pounds? Okay. Esta es tu tercera pelea en, 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 en los 135 y 140. ¿Cómo el, cómo el cuerpo tuyo te ha respondido hasta ahora? Tengo, tengo la capacidad esa de, de bajar y, y subir de peso y... Creo que mi cuerpo son pocos los que podemos hacer lo que tenemos esta condición que ahora mismo eh, estoy en, en peso 135 libras y no tengo problema no, te, no es, estoy comiendo estoy comiendo tres comidas al día y nada, de, na, creo que soy, soy uno de los pocos bolseadores que, que, que tiene esa característica que puede subir y bajar de peso Sí, él dice que se siente bien en 135 y 140 is in one one of the, one of the one of the kind fighters that can make weight and can go up and weight and and and, and, and go down and weight and right now his body feel really really good I mean I'm eating three times a day and you know I'm ready I'm I, my body feel great that's good to hear we want to see great things from Rancis moving forward um you know, you're fighting Dennis Shafikov on Friday. What do you know about him, and how do you feel your style matches up with his? Que vas a pelear bien con con Shafikov. Este, ¿qué tú crees del estilo de él y y qué tú crees de 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 cómo tú vas a pelear él? No, la verdad que no he visto nada nada de él que me impresione. Solo es un peleador que siempre va al frente, ah, sí. eh, buscando, buscando el inter que, la, eh, pelea. la pelea, la, la corta distancia. La verdad que nada, pero eh, yo, yo he peleado con, eh, con, con peleadores de más nivel que él. Creo que él no está a mi nivel. Y nada, el, el bien de lo voy a sacar por el techo. He said, he said, he said, he said, he no impress me nothing. He said, one fight is come forward. Y that the only style he's have a five a five better opponent than him and when the come Friday I'm gonna whoop his ass. I'm so <laughs> that should be. I'm looking forward to seeing the fight. I think he's gonna put on a good performance. Um, you know, Rancis, you said that you like to jump to 140 and 147 uh, to fight to, to fight there or to 140. You're at 140 now and you want to jump to 147. Who are some of the big names you like to fight in those divisions? que tú estás pensando en el futuro a pelear en 140, 47 o qué nombre tú estás buscando para pa en el futuro bueno, yo soy un profesional no yo ahora lo que tengo ahora en mi mente es eh, eh, sacar del de, de medio de tráfico y después veremos qué pasa si hay una oportunidad de, de pelear otro título en las 140 libras sería algo grandioso pero si no, esperemos que, que es lo que decide mi equipo de trabajo. Ok. Uh, he say, he say right now, he's a, you know, really professional. Right now, we think in, in Danny Chafico and after the fight. So, I want to fight for one, one, 140. I want to I get another, another title 140. And, you know, I have to sit down and talking with my, with my team. 
and then see what what's going to happen the plan for the future okay all right um now, Yuki Oris Gamboa is fighting a common opponent this week. He's fighting Highland Williams on the undercard of uh, Lewis Ortiz and Brian Jennings. Uh, if he gets past Highland Williams, which is somebody that Rances did very good against, uh, would Rances ever consider fighting him at all uh, 135? And uh, because that that would be a huge fight for uh, the Cuban the Cuban boxing fans because Rances is a big name and Yuki Oris is a big name. He says, "Si Gamboa puede pasar la Highland Williams, que ya tú lo ganaste." Este, ¿tú crees que se podía hacer una pelea entre tú y Gamboa en 135 y eso fuera una, una, una pelea para la popularidad eh, cubana? No, la verdad que yo siempre lo he dicho y me han tenido así, al igual que Gamboa lo ha dicho. No, no, hasta ahora, hasta ahora lo que nos han hecho entender la, la, la televisión y, y los promotores que, que si, que que no hay negocio, no hay negocio, no hay negocio, no, hay, no deja nada en la mesa que peleamos dos cubanos. Mm. Y esto se trata de buscar la mayor eh, la mayor eh, ganancia económica para el bolseador. He said right now, you know, um, you know, I'm not thinking right now when Frank uh, Gamboa, you know, he the, the, same, the same thing, press ask Gamboa, he press ask me, but that fight, you know, it's nothing economic in this fight, you know, especially for Cuban because it's some, you know, little, it's a, it not too many population the Cuban fighters in the United States. So right now we're not thinking in that fight right now. So because, you know, you know, they we're not going to pay for that fight right now. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Branches, Branches is, a, is a very f a fundamental fighter. He's, he's really good with his jab. Um, I know you guys are very uh, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Repeat, repeat again the, uh, the the question. This one or the last one? No, the, this one. This one right now. Oh, I'll, I'll, I was going to say uh, Ran Rancis is, is a very fundamental fighter. He likes to fight behind his jab, and he's very good at switching styles. Uh, you know, I know you guys <laughs> focus on this fight with uh, Sh uh, Danish Shak uh, Shafikov, but... If Francis were to fight a guy like Terence Crawford, who many people think are the be is the best fighter at 140 pounds, uh, how do you think Francis would do against uh, a guy who likes to switch styles like he does? Tú eres un boxeador que tú te gusta pelear con detrás del jab, que tú tú estás con el jab, que te cambie todo de 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 cualquier posición de la sur, de la derecha. ¿Qué tú crees de una pelea tú con en un futuro contra Daniel Crawford? Eso sí, eso sí, eso sí, eso creo, que ese, creo que esa peleadita es la que, la que creo que para el año que para el 2000, finales de 2016 o 2017 creo que sería una pelea eh, muy interesante para la fanaticada, dos peleadores similares que se viran, que trabajan bien la, la, el, la, el, el contraataque los peleadores muy técnicos que los dos peleamos sabemos pelear de izquierda y de derecha creo que sería una pelea muy interesante Te la está mencionando y creo que sería un gran peleón del interés del mundo bolsístico uh, he, he like that fight with you know with Crawford so maybe can make the fight in the end de 2016 or beginning 2017, you know, we we assimilate, we have a similar style. He can change the right to to left or, or, or left to right. You know, we can just any style, and that's not going to be a great fight in the, you know, for the future. Yeah, and that's a fight I like. I, me personally, I I really like to see it just because both of those Francis and Terence are both very good at switching styles. They're really they're really talented fighters. Hey. Me dice que me dice que esa esa es la pelea en la que le gustaría a él tú con Crawford. Créeme que eso yo y Crawford eso el nombre sería eh, el duelo de los ajedrecistas. Y se va a hacer un duelo ajedrez. Yeah, he say he say he say he can he, you know that fight he, the fight he gonna be the name. You know, like a chess, like a chess ma match. You know, yeah, very. He said like ch chess match because he can, you know, the style. Yes, the very, very intelligent fighters. You got to be very intelligent to win that type of fight against Crawford. Son inteligentes. Una pelea de. Sí, de pensamiento. Mucho. Va a ser una pelea de mucho pensamiento. 
Um, uh, there's a big fight this weekend. Uh, Brian Jennings versus uh, fellow Cuban Luis Ortiz. Uh, who does who does Rancis have and why? Yeah. Who we who we Cuban who? Uh, uh, Brian Jennings is fighting uh, Luis Ortiz, who's also Cuban. Um, who okay. does Rancis think will win the fight and why? I ¿A quién te gusta de Jennings en, en, en Ortiz, el, el cubano? No, no, tío, tío. Eh, más superior. Su, más superior, más potente, surdo, pegador, inteligente y, y pega. Mucho, muy, 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 mucha más experiencia. He say, he say, he like better Louis because, you know, he's, he's a strong fighter, he's lefty, and, you know, he's, he has more experience than Jennings right now. Okay. Does uh does ask uh, does Rancis ha uh, see any similarities in his fighting style to Luis Ortiz, even though he's a heavyweight? Que tuve mucho que tuve el estilo tuyo similar al de Aldo Ortiz. Sí, Ortiz, Ortiz es muy un peleador, un peleador que eh, inteligente. sí inteligente, que es muy, muy muy que piensa arriba del ring. Yeah, yeah, he can, he can see some similar style like my, you know. Because uh, Ortiz, he like he smart and inside the ring, he's a you know he's a good fighter. Used the job a lot. Yeah, I, I, there's definitely a lot of similarities between those two. Um, uh, I wanted to transition to talking about. I wanted to ask you guys two questions that kind of don't have to do with boxing, and then we're gonna close it uh -huh. out. Um, Bye. I wanted to ask Francis, being that he's Cuban, uh, what, what, what's... Hey, one moment, one moment. Too many, too many people screaming right now. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, too many. Uh, tell me now. All right. I was going to ask Francis, um, these are, these, are, these questions are not boxing related. I was going to ask him, um, what's Francis' favorite f Cuban food? I think, un fan de Tico estaba preguntando, ¿cuál es tu comida favorita cubana? Mi comida favorita cubana... Arroz, arroz moro, mm. carne puerco mm. y tostones. Y yuca frita. Y dice, 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 black rice, eh, plantain, mm. eh, pork, en yuca frita. En yuca frita. All those are great. I love all those. Ese que le gusta todo. Oh, good, I, I, good. I'm, I'm in Miami, so we have, we have tons of Cuban food around here. Mm. Uh, in Miami, Miami, you know, you know. I know, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's great around here. We have a lot of food. Um, if Francis Bartholomew wasn't a boxer, you know, what what, what would you want to be, Francis? Though, what else? What else would you have become? Okay, si tú no fueras boxeador, que tú fueras? Que yo fuera. Bueno, yo no sé, no 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 sé, no sé, porque estudié no varias sabe. carreras. No sé, no sé, no sé. No sé, no sé. Dice, you know. He no know because he he, he go to school he learn so many he do so many career in the school but he no know he no know. Yeah, I mean hey, bo boxing is is his life so he he's really good he's really good at it too. El boxeo tu vida. Sí 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 en Cuba se me fue suspendido a mí a mi hermano menor cuando mi hermano se quedó en el 2006 y estuve fuera me suspendieron estuve alrededor fuera del boxeo dos años. Pensé en un momento dejarlo a llegar a Estados Unidos, porque al recibir mi primer salario trabajando en un hotel de la playa en South Beach, eh, yo nunca había recibido 1500 dólares por trabajar. En Cuba yo nunca tuve ese dinero mm -hmm. y me creía que eso era, que con eso podía vivir yeah. y podía hacer. He, he said cuando he estuve en Cuba y que. He, que... He, he, you know, he get punished. He, he get punishment because his brother left Cuba, and then he not he, he not allowed to fight in, in Cuba for two years. And then when he came to United States, they was living in in Miami. He was he was working, and the first check he made one one thousand five hundred, and he thinking to he thinking to quit boxing. Wow. Well, thank, thankfully he didn't. So we, because uh, uh, the fight fans, us the fight fans, we're glad we we, we want to watch Francis fight. He's very talented and he's very fun to watch. Eh, he say, he say, he say, gracias, gracias que no te retiraste porque eh, la fanática boxística dice que tú eres un gran boxeador. Thank you, gracias, gracias. La verdad que eso me compromete más con el gimnasio y me da más responsabilidad a la hora de. de, de eh, prepararme para un combate. Y sé que la fanática está pendiente. Y sé, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm now, now I'm, I'm working more hard 
because I know the the fan base is support me hundred percent. Yes, and um, is is there any message Rancis has to his fans to the boxing world that he like to say right now? Que lo que tú quieres decirle a los fanáticos. A todas las fanaticadas en especial de Miami, porque como sabemos todos, Miami es la segunda Cuba libre, sí, Cuba libre. La, la verdadera Cuba libre, la segunda Cuba libre. A todo Miami, atención a la Florida entera. Eh, December 18, don't miss, keep blast. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice luchando? Eh, keep back, keep blast. He gonna, you know, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna keep blast. He gonna, he gonna win. He gonna win the second title. Don't miss. Oh, he say, he say, he say, uh, all the, uh, uh, all the, all the community, all the Cuban community in Miami, because my, Miami, the second Cuba, you know, I say everybody, don't miss my fight. The keep blast is coming. All right. So for Brendan Taylor, True School Sports, Francis Bartholomew and Carlos, uh, signing off. Thank you guys. Watch this fight December 18th. Fight TV is going to be a hell of a show. One of the best fighters, 140 pounds. You're not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.